China is tackling climate change with a very cool concept, vertical forests that will be havens for both people and plants. Italian architect Stefano Boeri is transforming urban architecture and saving the planet at the same time. Vertical cities and vertical nature are innovative ways to save Earth while still creating space for people. With his new designs in China, Boeri's tackling issues of overpopulation and air pollution in style. He's got plans for an entire forest city in the country, and he's even got an idea for developing a vertical forest oasis in space. So let's take a deeper look at the living architecture that just might save our world. Huanggang Vertical Forest City Complex This is the newly opened Easy Home Vertical Forest City Complex in Huanggang, China, just 50 miles from the city of Wuhan. People are officially starting to move into the residential areas of this lush, cutting-edge skyscraper. The complex spans 11.2 acres and is made up of five greenery-covered towers. The two residential towers are over 260 feet tall and covered in more than 400 trees. There are climbing plants, flowers, and 4,620 shrubs with almost 26,000 square feet of perennial grass. These plants make up a diverse range of species native to this area of China. Vertical forests such as this are a building type invented by Boeri. They consist of tree and plant-covered facades rising high into the sky, like man-made mountains of pristine nature. Boeri Studio, Stefano Boeri Architetti, has already completed a few vertical forests around the world, but they usually only feature open balconies. The Huanggang Complex has both open and covered balconies. It was designed with the idea of foliage first. The balconies were stacked and shaped to form specific strategically picked spots for the placement of plants and trees, making them the focal points of the building. The steep design allows the trees enough space to grow. Each of the trees was lifted into their own special spot on the building with cranes. Right now, they are moderately sized trees and plants that are still getting used to their new home on a skyscraper. But in a few years, they'll grow into the thick, sky-high forests featured in the building's concept photos. However, the lush skyscrapers have a much bigger purpose than just standing tall and looking pretty. Vertical forests are a clever type of architecture that's attempting to change the fate of our planet. The trees and greenery in this building will absorb a whopping 22 tons of carbon dioxide per year. They'll also produce about 11 tons of oxygen per year. The greenery will even absorb fine dust particles generated by heating and traffic, which can help reduce air pollution. They will also help keep the apartments cool, reducing the need for indoor air conditioning. Not just any plants were picked for use in this vertical gardenscape. Preservation of native species and the cultivation of rare plants were big deals for Boeri. Laura Gotti is the agronomist in charge of botanical development for all of his vertical forest projects. Special attention was paid to flora native to the region, but instead of going with common species, she focused on species that were rarely used in traditional gardening. Some of these species were cultivated specifically for the project, since they are so rarely found in plant nurseries and are considered quite wild. With their welcoming greenery, the towers also offer an urban habitat for local wildlife. Birds, insects, and other small animals can make their homes in the complex's many gardens. Here, nature and humanity can live in harmony. Beyond the benefits to our planet, the building's residents get to experience a few perks by living in these green towers. For one, they'll always be surrounded by trees and the sights, smells, and sounds of nature. They'll also have easy outdoor access whenever they want it, so living in a skyscraper won't ever feel claustrophobic or isolating. In addition to apartments, the Huanggang complex will have towers dedicated to hotels and large commercial spaces. Nanjing Vertical Forest the Huanggang Vertical City is Boeri's first vertical forest to open in China, but it's not going to be the only one. Boeri thinks these types of buildings could be especially suitable for the country. After all, China is the most populated country in the world with over 1.4 billion people. So, after the success of his first project, Boeri Studio decided to open two more vertical forest towers in Nanjing. The first tower hosts a total of 27 native plant species, 600 large trees, 200 medium-sized trees, and over 2,500 shrubs and hanging plants. In total, there's over 48,000 square feet dedicated to plant life. It's over 650 feet tall and crowned at the top by an enclosed covered with climbing plants. The building features offices from the 5th to 35th floor, but there are also luxuries like a private rooftop club. There are even education facilities like a museum and a school focused on green architecture. The second 354-foot-tall tower will feature a luxurious Hyatt Hotel with 305 rooms. There will also be an indoor swimming pool on the 4th floor. These Nanjing towers are expected to reduce CO2 emissions by an impressive 18 tons each year while producing up to 16.5 tons of oxygen, building an entire vertical forest city in China. While Boeri has recently set his sights on China, he's been designing futuristic planet-saving vertical forests for a while now. His very first design was Bosco Verticale in Milan, 
which are towers made up of luxury apartment units. He also recently built Trudeau Vertical Forest in Eindhoven, a massive social housing complex that features over 10,000 plants. He's even working on this 36-story tower in Lausanne, Switzerland, called La Terraces de Cedres. But he's not stopping his vertical forest master plan anytime soon. Boeri says he plans to design many different versions of varying heights and nature in many cities all over the world. He believes they'll become a reference model for other sustainable green architecture. These steeped vertical designs made by other companies are already proving his point. While he enjoys working all over the place, China's very dense population and cities that feature some of the tallest and most numerous skyscrapers in the world make it the perfect canvas for his concept. In fact, it's so perfect that he's unveiled plans to construct an entire city in China that's completely covered in vertical forests. The Lishou Forest City will provide 30,000 homes, feature over 40,000 trees, and at least 1 million plants. It's estimated that this city could absorb up to 10,000 tons of CO2 and produce about 900 tons of oxygen per year. The city will feature different plant species spread across balconies and rooftops. The skyscrapers will span 432 acres along the Lujiang River and host everything needed in a city. There will be commercial spaces, recreational areas, residences, two schools, and a hospital. The city's smog-eating walls of greenery will do a lot to offset urban pollution. It'll feature a fast rail line, electric cars, and solar panels on the building's rooftops to collect renewable energy. Beyond looking like the coolest city on the planet, it'll possibly become the most sustainable. Other benefits include providing a noise barrier for high traffic areas, reducing air temperature, and providing homes for small wildlife like birds, bats, and insects. Once complete, it'll be the first city of its kind in the entire world. Vertical forests on other planets. However, if all else fails and these vertical forests aren't enough to save our planet, Boeri has come up with a backup plan, vertical cities on other planets. Stefano has developed an experimental idea for a new Shanghai, made up of vertical forests that could be built on Mars. In collaboration with Tongji University's Future City Lab and the Chinese Space Agency, Boeri imagines that by the year 2117, the Earth could be past the point of saving. If rising sea levels render Earth uninhabitable, then we'd have no choice but to take off to somewhere brand new. He and his team came up with this utopian design for many vertical forest cities encased in domes that could safely sit on the surface of Mars. The spheres would be delivered to the planet via the International Space Station. Will this kind of construction ever be possible? It's probably too early to say. But these are the kinds of ideas that will lead to us eventually constructing habitable environments on other planets. Would you live in a vertical forest? What about a vertical forest in space? Or is the idea of living in a dome kind of terrifying? Sound off in the comments. While you're here, like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of our cool construction content. Thanks for watching.